Look, there are more mushrooms. Wow, it's huge. Well, they are massive. Look how big it is. Like my face, or even bigger. This is my hand. This is the mushroom. Wow, that's really the mushroom paradise. <laughs> Welcome to our channel season to Anxin, China. We are here at like 3,600 meters in altitude. Because we want to show you the most splendid sunset, the sunset over Yellow River. And this region is so cool. Look, can you show our audience? It's just endless prairie with thousands and thousands of yaks, sheep, goats and horses. And some rainy cloud <laughs> on the other side of the hill. We are en actually entering through an informal entrance. And this scenic zone is called Ruarga, Huanghe Di Wan, like the first curve on the Yellow River. But this ranch belongs to, belongs to some Tibetan shepherds. So she's charging the ticket over there and entrance fee is only two euro per person. This county is called Machu County and Machu is actually in Tibetan language means the Yellow River and this river is a mother river of China it originates in Qinghai province uh, in Bayan Kala mountain range and now here it flows through this huge flat prairie it's winding through this this prairie that is Huanghe River, Yellow River, and this is called Baihe, White River. Those two rivers merge together here and form a huge bend, a huge curve. Look, ah, you can see it from here. You can see the reflection. And then this river flows, continuing through Gansu province, and then finally, finally towards east. This year, China's domestic tourism rebounded above pre-pandemic level. Tourist numbers were surging and the nearby hotels were fully booked. We had to drive an extra 70 kilometers to Toyga to stay. This is where we're going to stay tonight. How are you? Kun. <laughs> 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 Taiga belongs to Tibetan traditional region of Ando. Over 90% of the population are Tibetans. They speak Amdo Tibetan language, Mandarin, and even some Sichuan dialect. Toiga is a small town, but it grows very fast because of tourism. 
<laughs> a lot of construction is going on. They are passing this uh, metal bar from down to top, and they are joking. It's like Hou Zi Lao Yue. They speak with a Sichuan dialect. So this booming construction also refers, also indicate the fact that the city is growing very fast. I got up this morning to get some breakfast. Flo is still uh, preparing himself. So this is the county of Ruo, Ganxian. It's not very big, but due to tourism, the economy is booming. And the main population in Ruo, Ganxian, is mainly Tibetans. You can see it in the video that there are Tibetans who are dressed in their traditional clothes. And then there are some, some Hui population as well as Han. So this is a typical Hui uh, bakery. So. In Tibetan region, people drink a lot of Zhuan Cha, those Brick tea, and, and most of the, the tea are produced, for example, in Yunnan, Sichuan province, and made into a Brick and transported to Tibet. Uh, there is also, for example, those uh, oxygen bottles, but at the elevation, at the altitude of 3,500, most people don't really need that. Uh, noodle shop. Have you got a bag? No. Have you got a bag? No, no, no. 是什么馅儿的呀? 牛肉, 牛肉早就卖完了 哦, 行 请问多少钱一笼呀? 十二 Nagua Tibetan and Tiang Autonomous Prefecture located in northwestern Sichuan It's a great place for those who are interested in Tibetan culture yet afraid of altitude sickness It is lower and much greener than Tibetan Autonomous Region so most tourists can acclimate easily Tsoiga is primarily a highland basin made up of fertile marsh, picturesque grassland, winding rivers, and free running yaks and horses. I think it looks a little bit like Mongolia, even though I haven't been there. But like you see these yurts, these tents, and um, many, many horses and horse riding. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Quite a spectacular place. This place is called Wachie Talin. There are not many tourists here, and not so many people know it. But it's a huge area of uh, religious site. In the middle, there are more than 100 stupa, and this place was constructed to memorize the 10th Spanchan. And uh, it's also a place where Tibetans often go for a prayer walk. Those tower stupas are constructed first and later all those big tent shaped things they are prayer flags and they are set up by the Tibetans to memorize them
As we went east, the altitude dropped and the landscape changed from grassland to green mountains. Instead of yards and stone Tibetan houses, we began to see villages and towns with more Han influence. Late afternoon, we reached Songpan. During Tang rule, Songpan was a border with Tibetan Empire. Songtsang Kampo tried to invade Tang through this gate, and Emperor Tang Taizong offered him Princess Wenchen at Songzhou in exchange for peace. Located in a valley, Songpan Old Town is a grand and ancient construction with well-preserved city gates and walls. Now the city has a bustling market with many restaurants, shops, and busy street vendors. Oh, big mushrooms! Ah, uh, you like this one? Yes. Wow! This is called hedgehog mushroom. Oh, I've seen it in Switzerland. So now they are selling fresh uh, picked mushroom from the mountains. The hedgehog mushroom. I've seen it in Switzerland, but it's my first time seeing it here in China. I love mushrooms, so I have to say more. Hedgehog mushroom has a strong aroma that is a bit pepper-like. I've seen it in the Alps and I'm so surprised to see it again in Sichuan. It must be the season for mushrooms and there are so many kinds. Look, there are more mushrooms. Wow, it's huge. Wow, they are massive. Look how big it is. Like my face or even bigger. This is my hand. This is uh, the mushroom. Wow, that's really the mushroom paradise. <laughs> Ah, this is a coral mushroom. This one is what? This is a This is a This is a Can you smell? It's a very expensive mushroom. Like super expensive. So before it grows out, it's like a big uh, goose egg, and that's what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> Walking in town, one can easily spot different ethnicities. They are Tibetans. They lead the fashion industry. They are Hui people and many are grail masters.
and they are Qiang who dress with the most flowers, but they are dancing Tibetan circle dance. There are more people on the street, and there are plenty of interesting stuff. For example, he's selling some mouse, running mouse, and some other people are playing chess. Next day, we took a taxi to the nearby Huanglong, a famous natural heritage site. We found a taxi, and halfway, he picked up another passenger. This is something I really like about China. In small places, when there aren't many buses, you can always find private shuttle cars. Local people can wait near the road and wave to get in. So you Huanglong has very like colorful travel time pools formed by calcite deposits. But like all scenic zones, the queue was really long. So we've reached the national park and um, got our tickets, which were quite expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. And it's actually quite cold up here. So uh, got some little coffee to be prepared for the three hours hike. The hike was easy because in a scenic zone, everything's made to make sightseeing comfortable. This is a standard Chinese scenic zone, so you've got a paved road, unlike uh, that, for example, in Germany or in Switzerland, where the road sometimes is unpaved. But for others, this is a hardcore hike. All those food, uh, mineral water I carried by someone like him, they are called Beifu, and for them it's a long trip, and yet the payment wow. is not very high. His answer shocks me. They carry over a hundred kilo on the back and have to climb over seven kilometers at over 3,000 altitude. Yet the payment is so low. I really hope the scenic zone can raise their salary. After all, our tickets in high season is 170 per person and the scenic zone receives millions of tourists every year.
going to uh, end this video here with the amazing Fandom scenic site behind us and those springs, which is pretty beautiful. And in fact, there are many, many beautiful sites in Sichuan province, for example, in Sugunyangshan, for example, Jiu Daigo, and we've been to only a very small part of it. And I hope you really enjoy watching these videos. And if you like it, please give us a thumb up. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.